brace yourself to see the rise of China's ultra-fast 5G technology. Hi everyone, how's it going? This is Richard Aguilar and this is Arthur and we are back again to show you our latest video. In this video, you are going to see China's technological innovation and advancement powered by the latest and ultra-fast 5G technology. So without wasting any more of your time, here we go with our video. Number 1 is China Ningbo Jiaoshan port uses 5G for crane control. Meishan Container Terminal at Ningbo Jiaoshan Port in Ningbo, Zhejiang Province successfully used 5G technology to control its cranes. According to the director of the Network Department of China Mobile Ningbo, Wireless equipment and digitalized operations are crucial elements for a modern port to be able to compete at the international level. Number 2 is the first national level 5G new media platform. China Media Group has launched the country's first national-level 5G new media platform called Yangshi Pin. According to CMG, the platform will provide quality content in the areas of culture, sports, and news while integrating multiple emerging technologies and resources. Highlighting the priority of mobile terminals, it manages to create a comprehensive audiovisual new media flagship app by following its new strategic layout of 5G+, 4K, and 8K+, artificial intelligence. Number 3 is Chinese 5G and tech companies on display at CES. Chinese companies' participation dropped from a third of the consumer electronics show exhibitions amid trade disputes with the U.S. The show took place annually in Las Vegas. Now, around 1,000 Chinese companies took part including the 5G tech pioneer Huawei and many other Chinese companies are also showcasing their latest technologies. Number 4 is China says it built 130,000 5G-based stations as of the end of 2019. China had built over 130,000 5G-based stations across the country as of the end of 2019 according to the nation's Minister of Industry and Information Technology.
In the French conference, he also said China officially started commercializing the fifth generation mobile telecommunications technology services. Number 5 is China tests 5G based smart wharf in Qingdao. Based on 5G connection technology, the test achieved wireless control and operation of automated key cranes. This allows a crane to grab and transport containers. It marks a step towards the application of a 5G network in smart port construction. Port of Qingdao has Asia's first automated container terminal. The terminal became fully operational in 2017. All cranes and guided vehicles here are automated. Number 6 is China top mobile operators switch on commercial 5G services. China's three major mobile operators launched their long-awaited 5G service plans with users in dozens of cities making a beeline for the ultra-fast cellular network. China Mobile, China Unicom, and China Telecom in simultaneous moves unveiled their monthly 5G plans with prices ranging from 128 yuan to 599 yuan. Subscribers will be able to enjoy connections way faster than 4G and less expensive data per gigabyte. Number 7 is China's first 5G medical emergency rescue system. For the first time, hospitals in southwest China have used 5G technology in disaster medical rescue. This historic medical practice came one day after a 6.0 magnitude earthquake hit Changning County in southwest China's Sichuan province. The disaster has so far killed 30 people and injured over 200. The patient was suspected for having a ruptured spleen after escaping from the destructive tremor. Luckily, the patient was soon cleared. Number 8 is why China can take a lead in 5G and AI technology application. China is among the world's first countries to apply 5G to business services. China's telecommunications guide the global 5G technology trend. An open China is becoming the playground for global AI businesses and the key landmark for a joint exploration of AI's direction of end development.
So that's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have something to say about this video, please leave some comment below. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.